Welcome, welcome to episode number 92 of The Great Reset. My name is Robert Brill and I'm the CEO of BrillMedia.co. We are an advertising firm that drives sales and leads with tools and capabilities that are traditionally reserved for the Fortune 500 brands. We are here five days a week talking about marketing and advertising for senior marketing executives, entrepreneurs, and everyone who is looking for an advantage to grow their company. In this episode, we'll dive into site remarketing as part of our overall series on remarketing for advertisers. Site remarketing allows advertisers to serve up ads to people who recently visited their site. Very simple, but there's a lot of ways to cut and dice that data. If you stop there and you do this, you are doing remarketing, but let's dive deeper into how this happens and the types of ways that site remarketing can be activated. The basic setup is to serve ads to everyone who visited your site. This is good if your site is small, you don't have a lot of visitors, or you're trying to demonstrate overall efficacy of your remarketing. You should always be doing remarketing if you don't have the bandwidth or there's um, a lot of work and you kind of just don't know how to do it. At the very least, you should be doing this. But it's also quite likely you should be drilling down further and this is how we drive some of the results for our clients. We turn on granular remarketing. Sometimes for campaigns, we turn on ads to people who visited specific sections of the site. So if your site is an e-commerce site, you may have a blog, an about section, and a set of product pages. If you want to understand what works, you can break out your site remarketing into three sections, blog, about, and products. So people who visit the blog page is one audience. People who visit the about page, is a, is com they comprise a separate audience. And people who visit the aggregation of all your product pages is a third audience. If you're trying to drive sales, and it's likely that people who visit specific product pages are doing the best. You can run ads and then say, okay, which set of pages are doing the best, blog, about, or product pages. Further, you can then break out product remarketing by categories, names, or URL patterns, or just by remarketing to individual products. So if you sell t-shirts, you can break out an audience for men's shirts and women's shirts. Or you can go even further and set up a separate remarketing audience for every single product you sell. The best practice here is to pair up dynamic, creative, and remarketing so that people who visited a product page about a specific shirt design get an ad that references that specific shirt design. By doing this, your advertising campaign data will tell the story of the audience targets that drive the most clicks and sales. A really valuable setup for product advertisers is to remarket to cart abandoned users. So, a person who visits a page, adds an item to the cart, and then doesn't buy, gets an ad asking them to complete the purchase. Another way of deploying remarketing from the site is to reach out to past product buyers and serve them an ad for a complimentary product. A person who bought a red t-shirt may be interested in red shorts. And uh, I know someone who we interviewed on the LA Business Podcast whose favorite color is red. So Kevin Winston, head of Silicon Beach, I'm uh, looking at you. Using tools such as a data management platform, advertisers have the ability to record unique behaviors on the site. So for example, you may want to target people who took a combination, a specific combination of actions on the site. So for example, only remark it to people who did the following, visited the homepage, and visited at least two different product pages. This type of remarketing uses a custom behavioral recipe to identify key users and serve them up unique ads. You can do this by time on site, specific products viewed, etc. So as you can see, site remarketing is a super robust tool that lets advertisers pair up unique ads to users based on the relationship between the user and the advertiser. On tomorrow's episode, we'll talk about Facebook remarketing. I encourage you, if this was valuable, um, to subscribe to our channel so you get our daily updates of more resources and capabilities for digital advertising. And if you, if you like this particular video, please like this video. Have a great one, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow on The Great Reset.